After many years of anticipation, it has finally been officially unveiled. The iPhone of AR headsets, the Vision Pro Augmented Reality Headset by Apple. It's time to take a look at what this AR headset is all about. Stay tuned for the full review right on this channel once it's out, but for now, let's get into what we've seen and what we know about it. And again, please consider a subscription to this channel. As you know, making these videos takes a lot of time and effort. I totally count on your support. The Vision Pro looks similar to a pair of ski goggles, so it's not exactly as thin as some AR glasses we've seen so far, but there's a good reason for it. Plenty of components inside, including its own processors, two in fact, its own storage, and of course, the two screens that will run the show. Its battery is external and meant to be kept in the user's pocket, so that helps keep the device a bit thinner than, say, the MetaQuest 2 with its built-in battery, but it's a trade-off that might not appeal to everyone. Regardless, as its price suggests, the Apple Vision Pro is a premium product with its body made of aluminum alloy and glass. Its headband is very distinctive, appearing similar to a soft cushion. Its side frames contain the stereo speakers. According to Apple, the headband will be modular and can be replaced with third-party ones, in addition to different sized versions of the default one. While we can speculate that the Vision Pro's aluminum body might make it heavier than the average ARVR headset, the fact that it has an external battery might actually make it the lightest one we've seen so far. In terms of physical buttons, we have one that was advertised as essentially a camera shutter on top, as well as a very Apple Watch-like digital crown, which will be used to switch from AR to VR mode, essentially immersing the user into a virtual environment instead of letting them see their real one. Apple's Vision Pro headset is packing two separate 1.41-inch micro OLED screens, as opposed to a single LCD screen. Once the user puts on the headset, each screen aligns with each of their eyes and shows a different image from a slightly different perspective, creating the 3D effect we see on typical VR headsets. The pixel density of those displays is rumored to be 4000 ppi, pixels per inch, which is highly impressive and should result in virtually no visible pixels or the screen door effect people used to experience with older VR headsets, which itself was caused by screen pixels that were too far apart. So the display specs are indeed looking very premium, as we expected. Another impressive fact is that the Vision Pro's displays are rumored to be capable of reaching over 5,000 nits of maximum brightness, making Apple's AR VR headset the brightest one we've seen so far, far beyond the industry standard. The Apple Vision Pro also has an external display, surprisingly enough. It's called EyeSight, and it's a curved OLED screen on the front of the display, essentially meant for the people around the user. It can display the user's face partially, most notably their eyes, for a more natural conversation when needed, but can also give cues of whether the user is fully immersed and thus incapable of seeing the real world, or whether they're currently capturing a video with the headset. While we don't know the Vision Pro's full specs just yet, it does come with the powerful and power-efficient Apple M2 chip, plus a new processor made especially for AR VR experiences, the Apple R1. While the former will deal with app management, multitasking, and all that jazz, Apple says that the R1 chip will process what the headset's cameras are seeing, which will be quite a monumental task considering their amount and the fact that convincing augmented reality requires a lot of processing. Based on the M2 chip alone, we can expect flawless performance from the Vision Pro, similar to what we see on modern MacBooks and iPad Pros. The Vision Pro headset was shown to support multi-window multitasking, which does suggest a good amount of RAM and bodes well for its performance capabilities too. In addition, Apple did show some notable iPad OS and iPhone apps for productivity, such as Adobe Lightroom, so again, we can expect solid performance from this facial computer. The Apple Vision Pro headset is powered by Vision OS, which is a brand new operating system by the Cupertino company, seemingly similar to iPad OS, in the sense that it can basically run iPad OS apps with very little modification required from their developers. iPad OS itself is a fork of iOS, the mobile operating system that powers iPhones, and according to Apple, while Vision OS is built from the ground up, it is using iOS frameworks. So we can expect countless apps from our iPhones and iPads to start becoming available to the Vision Pro headset and its XROS operating system pretty quickly. 
Those are certainly going to include productivity apps, and not just apps for social media interaction and entertainment, which would boost the Vision Pro's potential to become the most alluring next-gen productivity device. Notably, during its initial announcement, Apple promised that the Disney Plus app will be available on day one. Productivity apps like Microsoft Excel, Word, and more were also showcased and will be available, albeit possibly a bit later. So, what do you expect from the Apple Vision Pro, and are you planning to own one? Please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. More information is coming.